33. The cylindrical tank shown in the diagram below is to be painted. The tank is open at the top and the bottom does not need to be painted. Only the outside needs to be painted. Each can of paint covers 600 square feet. How many cans of paint must be, must be purchased to complete the job? Okay, so we don't have to paint the bottom and we certainly don't have to paint the top because it's open. So we really only have to paint the outside, which is this lateral area. And they want to know how much paint we need, how many cans. So each can of paint can cover 600 square feet. So what is the area, how many square feet, just on the lateral section of this thing? Well, let's see, how do we find that area? If we were to think of this as like a can of soup, if you were to take the label off and unroll it, what shape would it be? It'd be a rectangle, right? So imagine a rectangle where we've unrolled the label on the can of soup and one dimension is this height, it's this 22 feet. And what's this dimension along the top? If we've unrolled the sides of the can, it's like the circumference of a circle, right? So what is the circumference of a circle? It's 2 pi r, where the r is the radius and the radius is 12 feet. So that's 2 times pi times 12, which is 24 pi. So that's this top dimension, 24 pi. So the area is the product of those two. So 22, so le uh, length times height, 22 times 24 pi, I get 16 59, I'm, I'm rounding to the nearest whole square inch or square foot. That's feet squared. So that's the area of the sides of the, of the tank. And if each can of paint covers 600 square feet, how many cans do we need? Well, it's just 1659 divided by 600 which is 2.76 and you can't buy um, you know 76 hundredths of a can of paint you can only buy an integer number of cans of paint so you should buy three cans I'm pretty sure if you put 2.76 you wouldn't get the answer wrong but it is kind of implied that you can't buy fractional cans of paint so three cans is the best answer